as with any of our trips, first up is... Taco Bell. Bell. No, junk food. What do you think? A chicken quesadilla. A chicken quesadilla. That's right. Junk is a must for every beginning of an overland trip. All right, so we hit the trail toward Bowman Lake. We have uh, something like 15 rigs. We just got on the dirt path. We're gonna stop for uh, airing down soon. And it should be a fun day. Just took a little break to air down and we are now going on a trail that is a 34 miles loop uh, supposed to be a nice trail very easy very well groomed just a nice drive We got on a trail that looks <laughs> looks a bit iffy, becomes a bit narrower, and hopefully all the 15 rigs behind me will be okay with that. It's not that bad. It's just not a well-groomed fire road. It's a bit more wild, I guess. But I guess that's the name of the game. We are overlanding. Ah, oh, I hear the scratching on the truck. So the, the loop that we took, I think it's called Algani or Algankani or something like that. And it starts very mild, very well groomed, and then it becomes a little less mild, uh, well, a bit more challenging and less groomed, but still very doable, very easy. I, I would say any stock 4x4 can easily make it, not even 4x4, but anything with a little bit of clearance. Uh, but the, the scenery is nice. We are, it's kind of like a shelf road and to the left, right down there, it goes all the way down and you can see the water um, so it's uh, pretty cool so the trail is becoming you know a little challenging but kind of fun um, still very doable just becomes a little narrower with branches and, and trees and such so it's just uh, adding to the character of my truck paint job uh, and makes it really stylish with all those pin striping this is cool the water seems to be crystal clear can't see it yet but it's pretty nice wow Everybody's going across the bridge. Ghost, come here. How are we going? This is cool. If I can manage to not fall and break my leg here. This is pretty cool. Come on, prima donnas. <laughs> Anyone needs help? This is another one of those nature-ish. What I mean by that is nature-ish. But it's beautiful here. The water is clear. 
It's literally as warm as, almost as warm as my bed. Time. Let's let's go see what's going on here. This is so nice. This is a good spot to actually stay the night. But we have lots of rigs and lots of people. We need a bit more space. This is pretty cool. See if we didn't have that many kids with us. At just about now, I would be sitting here with probably three beers behind me. But I uh, have to be a bit responsible. It's fun, right? Feels good? That was fun. We just stopped by a little creek, had some fun. Everybody was swimming, playing. It was a good spot. When I continued the trip, head to Bowman Lake, see what else is on the road. So we're still on the trail. It's starting to twist and turns and it becomes a little narrow, uh, which means that probably not that many vehicles, maybe motorcycles, but not uh, cars or rigs are going down this path. But it's very nice, the scenery is very cool. And it's not that difficult, fairly easy. We are starting to have a little fun climbing somewhat steep hills that are a bit kind of uh, rough. I just engaged four wheel drive just to make it easy so I don't slip and slide. Just make it nice and slow or nice and easy. It's beautiful out here, all green, even in. We are kind of in the summer, or maybe the beginning of the summer, but it looks like, like a rainforest. So a local guy just uh, stopped us and said that uh, we have about four or five miles to get down the mountain to a river crossing. And once we cross the river and go on the other side, there's another three quarters of a mile up the hill, but then it's gated and we can't go through, which means uh, we now did about 30 miles on this trail, it took us about, I don't know, three, four hours. Which means that if we go down the hill, and if we find camping by the river, that's great. We'll camp by the river, we'll have fun. If we don't, it probably means that we have to make a U-turn and ride or drive three, four hours back. Which will be a major pain in the butt, because it is almost 4 p.m. now, and we want it to be camping by 4 or 5 p.m. But hey, that's the cost of overlanding. Sometimes plans pan out and sometimes you get some surprises. That's part of the fun, part of the adventure. All right, so everybody's setting up. Uh, some folks are happier than others because we ended up not making it to Bowman Lake, but we are right by this river right here and what do we do when we get to a campsite we drink oh that's so good 